This is a very versatile YouTube vlogging camera. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're a returning subscriber, then thank you so much for visiting my channel once again. If you're new to this channel, then my name is Suleiman. Once again, I'm here to showcase you by far the best travel slash vlogging camera setup. These are the equipment which I will be using to build up my travel uh, vlogging setup. A small tripod with uh, Siri head or any other ball head that can fit uh, Weevil S uh, quickly split. Later on, I will tell you why I'm using Weevil S split and not using Series itself on plate. A camera cage, but I'm uh, recommending an L-shaped cage. This was a full cage uh, which I removed its top part and convert it to L cage in order to get uh, rid of any extra weight. So this right here is my Sony a7 III which don't have any flip out screen. It doesn't matter what camera uh, you are using or what lens you will be using. But for my setup I will be using my Sony a7 III camera. The lens which I will be using with this is Sigma 14-24 f2.8 e e mount. Uh, this is a, a Sigma lens for a Sony full frame. It has constant f2.8 aperture, which is very good for low light condition and a nice blurry background. With this lens, I don't need to extend my arm too much while I'm vlogging because it's starting from 14mm, which is an ultra wide lens. But uh, for sound, I will be using uh, this uh, Rode Wireless Go. This is a wireless transmitter by Gion. This is transmitting the signal to my smartphone, which is a better option as compared to any external monitor because with external monitor, you need to bring uh, extra batteries and adding extra weight to your setup. Since everyone has uh, and carry smartphone, in my opinion, using the wireless transmitter is a good option. It's working wireless in Android. Even you can uh, transmit at the same time uh, to two smartphones. So share your ideas and what equipment do you use for your vlogging setup? If your camera doesn't have any flip out screen, then what's your solution for that? I will show you the best part of the video at the end of this video. Stay with me. So let's build this setup. The first thing I will do is that I will attach my wireless transmitter to my cage or even we can, I think it's better to first uh, put the cage on our camera. The reason I'm using this cage is that it's giving me room to put my wireless transmitter on the side of the uh, cage. This is the small uh, quick release plate which is coming with June wireless transmitter. Now I will attach it to the cage like so. Here I put quick release plate or a small holder. So the wireless transmitter is going here. That's it. It's securely locked. Later on, I will connect cables. Now I'm going to attach the uh, Weevil S uh, plate at the bottom of this cage. The wireless transmitter is attached uh, to the side of the camera uh, in a cage. At the bottom, I already attached the quick release plate. Uh, I mean, the, only the plate of the Weevil S and I can uh, fit it to my tripod okay this is how it looks attach the cage to the camera then the transmitter hold it to the cage and i'm sliding in my wireless transmitter it's securely locked here at the bottom of the cage i attach weevil s uh, plate and then i mount it to my siri uh, ball head with a small mini tripod microphone it's going here now it's time to connect wireless transmitter to camera. This is an adapter converting main HDMI to big HDMI because I have a cable which one side is uh, normal HDMI and another side is micro HDMI. If you have many HDMI to micro HDMI, then you don't need all these things. So in my case, I have to attach this adapter and it will go here. It's attached to my camera. Our audio transmitter, and this is our audio receiver. So we can clip it here, or we can uh, use any lav mic like, or we can connect any lav mic like the one which I use here. 
so we can connect it to our uh, transmitter then there's another cable it's for uh, controlling the camera like triggering the camera right now this is a complete wireless uh, vlogging setup and it's not very heavy and it's uh, very portable with the help of your wireless transmitter we can uh, check our exposure framing and also we can uh, start uh, and stop recording the video okay why i'm using wireless transmitter i have five solid reason for using a wireless transmitter especially this wireless transmitter with my setup i don't need to carry any external monitor and monitors battery i can use my smartphone as a wireless monitor i can vlog from different angle by using my uh, framing or using my zoom lens and adding some extra flavor to my video and shooting myself with a telephoto lens and can see my framing focus exposure far away from my camera now i can use my uh, smartphone as a wireless remote for my camera if you want to take it a step further then you can even mount this on your weevil s gimbal especially if you're traveling and want do smooth battery b-roll or if you want to put your gimbal uh, somewhere and make some uh, movement and letting your gimbal to track you or follow your uh, movement so your gimbal will be acting as a cameraman on a tripod so now let's put this together I came out uh, just to give you guys some examples of uh, this setup. This is the beauty of this setup that I can record my camera from my smartphone and I can check everything. I will share my screen, my mobile phone screen to show you guys. Like I can see I have my waveform here. I can check my framing and exposure everything. Right now I can see like I'm in frame, so I I want to come out of the frame and no, right now I'm out of frame and like this I can come in a frame and talk to my camera and when I finish then I can leave my camera and I go out as soon as I see that I'm out of frame I can stop. So now it's tracking me and it's uh, I don't need to have any second person in order to follow me or pan and tilt the camera for myself. This is uh, the tracking mode. It's tracking me without any problem. Try to track my bag. So this way it will, it will do the tracking for me. I'm uh, vlogging with the full setup. I mean the camera on a gimbal. And that's why it's giving me this uh, very smooth footage. It's much smoother as compared to uh, handheld like this one so it's uh, giving much smoother footage and don't you think this is the best travel slash vlogging YouTube camera so far I hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned something from this video if you guys have any question please write on the comments below I will try to answer your question and don't forget to subscribe to my channel like the video press the bell icon in order to be notified on my upcoming videos